Harvard University president resigns amid anti-Semitism and plagiarism scandal. Only a few months into her term, Harvard's first black president, Claudine Gay, announced her resignation in a letter to the university community. She had faced criticism for remarks she had made about anti-Semitism on campus and plagiarism charges. She follows Liz McGill, the president of the University of Pennsylvania, as the second Ivy League president to step down in the past month in response to congressional evidence over anti-Semitism on campuses. When asked if calling for the genocide of Jews would violate the university's code of conduct during a congressional hearing on anti-Semitism, Ms. Gay said that it would depend on the situation and if a speech crosses into conduct that violates our policies. The White House, as well as other Republican and Democratic legislators, criticized her comments, and Saturday Night Live's opening sketch made fun of the hearing. After the hearing, conservative groups closely examined Ms. Gay's academic background, citing many suspected instances of plagiarism in her PhD dissertation from 1997. At first, the Harvard Governing Board supported Ms. Gay, stating that an examination of her academic work had revealed a few instances of inadequate citation, but no proof of scientific misconduct. However, the Harvard Corporation disclosed a few days later that it had discovered two more instances of a duplicative language without appropriate attribution. The board declared that Ms. Gay would revise and ask for changes to her dissertation. In the letter announcing her resignation Ms. Gay said it has been distressing to have doubt cast on my commitments to confronting hate and to upholding scholarly rigor, two bedrock values that are fundamental to who I am, and frightening to be subjected to personal attacks and threats fueled by racial animus. Ms. Gay, who is returning to the school staff, added it, has become clear that it is in the best interests of Harvard for me to resign so that our community can navigate this moment of extraordinary challenge. Alan Garber provost and chief academic officer, will serve as interim president until Harvard finds a replacement, the Harvard Corporation said in a statement.